Hey guys! I am so, so excited for this video. As you guys can see, the manga sloth is here. Like, ah! Like, we're not freaking out. We're not freaking out. But guys, we are doing a collaboration today. He is super, super awesome. And we did a book scavenger hunt. And we're just going to sort of share what we found on our scavenger hunt. We did a, like, use the graphics so, like, none of us could cheat and be like, this is all my favorite ones. So great. I do have my favorite manga in my stack. I did two from the same manga because I could. So are you ready, Manga Sloth? I am ready, and thank you for watching. It's the Manga Sloth, as you can see, with Laura A. Grace, a real author in my presence. <laughs> and uh, I'm excited to get into this scavenger hunt. It's the first time I have done something like this, so it was hard, but also, I think, really cool. You know, I get to touch a bunch of books that I haven't touched in a long time, <laughs> trying to find things. Same here. Like, um, I'll admit, one of them I never did find. And I was like, he probably has one, but I was like, I don't know if I'm going to go through every single manga to find the one for that prompt. So I'm curious to see what you came up for that one. Well, cool. Do you want to, I guess, start us off for the manga you found that had an animal in a book? Sure. Now, an animal in a manga, that is, find an animal in a book. And all the books I'm using will be manga. <laughs> oh, yeah, same here. I forgot to that. <laughs> just in case, just in case. I did have my wife's help for a bunch of these. I chose Yana of the Dawn. That's okay. And I, the animal I chose in Yona, or Yana, however you pronounce it, is Al. I don't know if you can see her there. She is a big, chunky squirrel. And I have a plushie here of her, so that no, I got my wife. That is so cool. She I is. Know, she was in the manga. Like that's one of the most like recommend manga suggestions I've like got is Yona. That is so cool. She is a big chunky squirrel. I have watched the anime series, uh, at least the first chunk of it, and boy, that squirrel is super duper cute and. Uh, and I love her a lot, and my wife does too. I'm going to have to go watch it now, because I didn't know that there was a cute little adorable squirrel in there. <laughs> I feel like nobody has mentioned this to me, so, like... She's the I most feel, important. Yeah, I'm like, I feel behind the times at, at this point now. I don't know if mine is necessarily as cute, and I definitely didn't think about bookmarking it, but for the animal that I chose was a shape-shifting reindeer from Sweet Rain. It's supposed to be like a Christmas manga, and there he is. I don't even remember his name. Can you see him? Yeah, he's right yes, there. Yes, I can. Yeah. I don't know his name. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't think to look that up. But I thought this was really interesting. Rudolph. It's having, yeah, basically like a okay. Rudolph Santa, and they're not your typical Santa. Was really interesting, and supposedly like everybody, or not everybody, but a lot of different people are Santa and have their own reindeer kind of thing. So I was really curious, and I was like, why not? Let's have a reindeer, because that's just sort of different in manga. <laughs> the next one was find the word spring in a manga. So I admit I definitely cheated for this one, because I was like, I don't know if it's actually in this manga volume, but Waiting for Spring, one of my <laughs> favorite manga. So I was like, it's in the title. It totally counts. <laughs> I was going to make it. Because I absolutely love this this like whole manga. It's funny. I haven't read all of it, but I read the first like four volumes, and just it is the absolute best. Like definitely recommend. What well, is well, I swear I was going to pick Waiting for Spring. Oh also, <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I didn't. So we have something different. Yeah. I, I told my wife uh, this was actually the hardest one because we were trying to find it in a book. Yeah. She came and helped me out because I said I don't want to pick just uh, Waiting for Spring. I didn't know you had it. Yeah. So I picked, uh, well, she picked Daytime Shooting Star. Aww. This is volume nine. And she found in it, uh, it says, time passed before I knew it. Spring had arrived. Oh, if good job. Anyone, good I job to her because... I didn't want to look through so much manga to find the word spring. You know, I was like, man, I should have tried harder on that. But I was like, oh, it's waiting for spring. I was like, that seems like such an easy choice to me. 
<laughs> I know a lot of mine, I was just like, man, I should just pick everything based on the cover or the title. <laughs> And I was like, no, maybe I shouldn't do that. Let's see. Next one is find someone helping someone. Is that correct? Yes. All right. Also uh, a wife's pick. She picked a Kimi Ni Todake. Yes. From Me to You. Oh, I a love it. Yeah. Amazing manga. And somewhere on here it shows uh, the main character, Sawako. Sawako? Yeah. If, I, if I'm saying that correct, I'm known for butchering words. She dropped some paper, and one of her friends, I think, are helping her out picking it up. Yes! Oh, that that manga is just the sweetest. I started the anime, but I haven't finished it. But I was, like, really impressed how they brought, like, all that feeling and emotion from that manga on screen. Like, so good. So good. The anime is awesome. Though I will say, the anime only shows maybe 40% of the series. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that. I love the second arc or like the second half, like after the anime, or at least from what I think where the anime stops, from my understanding. So for mine, I chose Beastmaster, which has one of the most, in my opinion, deceiving covers that there is. <laughs> it's like the story is completely different. And I chose Leo helping Yuiko. Basically, she goes out, and this guy, like, confronts her, and so Leo basically comes and, like, saves the day and beats him up. So, that was sort of, I guess that's, like, he's definitely helping her and keeping her safe. And Leo's really, he's such a sweet main character, even that though is, it reflects something completely different. That is definitely helping someone out, maybe more than picking up some paper. <laughs> I don't know, when you have all that, like... Like, not wanting anybody to know, notice you, like, in high school and all those nerves. But, yeah. Yeah. I see both. Have you ever read My Little Monster? I haven't, but my library... That, that cover it. reminds me of My Little Monster. And it's also kind of deceiving. It's not, you know, what it looks like. Really? I'll have to check it out because, yeah, this one does, yeah, it does have a lot of those. Especially <laughs> with, like, the shade. And I was like, there's there's nothing like that at all in this manga. What, like, whatsoever. Whatsoever. Just a disclaimer on that. Like, it's totally different. <laughs> Just oh. in case it matters. Yeah. Yeah. The next one was sort of hard, where you have to find a son in a book. And I had to look really hard. And I didn't think to bookmark, like, where it was. Okay, so I went with... Haiku, because it's absolutely amazing, and he now has no sunshine boy, but there is definitely, like, an actual sun in there, so. Is that really a sun? No, I'm just kidding. I'm hoping it's a sun, because if not, we're in trouble. <laughs> there is another one that I did choose. I don't think it's in this volume, though, but it, I was looking for the one that has a crow, and the crow's going off into the sun. I don't know if that was a sun or just, like, a cool, shiny effect. But this one, yes, definitely a sun. <laughs> what about you? All right, for a sun in a manga. Now, I went a little bit different. Oh. This is a sun, but it's not the sun. Oh. I chose, and I'm going to be using the cover and not finding it in here. I'm going to be using Prometheus. He is a sun from One Piece. He is Big Mom's or Charlotte Linlin's, uh, one of her minions, if you can see there. It looks like a fireball, but he's yeah. angry right there. He is a sun. Now, she has the ability, she has the soul soul fruit. She can take souls from things and put them into inanimate objects. So she oh. put some into some sunlight, some sun, yeah. and made, made a cloud and a little sun. And those are her minions. <laughs> So. Oh my goodness oh man that was that's a really good one that a that... little different but i thought it'd be neat yeah yeah that was that was very creative that's a good one okay and next is find a book that makes you laugh well i'm picking if you know me or you've watched any of my videos i've said this uh my love story makes me laugh so so much i mean look at this cover uh, come on <laughs> That cover is really funny. <laughs> Every cover is super hilarious. What an amazing, amazing shoujo. And uh, coming from me, who does not read a ton of shoujos, it's great. And I've never laughed more with any series that I own. Any. Any. That awesome. Factual. That is awesome. I decided to go with My Father is a Unicorn because 
I feel like this song is like underrated and it's pretty funny because you know his stepdad is basically like a unicorn and some of the things that he does with like the unicorn lore is really really funny it was a very amusing read and I was like in honor of the manga sloth and me wearing my unicorn onesie I was like we're going with my father as a unicorn <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need to go find like a unicorn sloth kind of like like picture now. <laughs> I need to go to like Party City and get a little unicorn unicorn thing for. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> the next one was find a bug in a book, and that was the one I couldn't find any manga for. That was like I don't know of any manga that I have that has a bug in a book that at least that I knew off the top of my head. So what did you find for this one? I hope uh, it's not. <laughs> that, was, that was one of my first thoughts. I was like, I hope it's not creepy. I chose from the Nausicaa Valley of the Wind oh. collector edition here. I found they are on this cover in the background. They are these big earth eating bugs. This is one of Miyazaki's works. Uh, somewhere on here, I can't, <laughs> I can't see holding it up. There are these big oh. bugs. Yeah. And they are huge, like the size of buildings, and they go across the land and eat things and tear things up. I went uh, I went with that one. That's a good one. Like, is that an older manga? Well, it must be if it's in a hardback. This is a collector's edition that came out, oh. I think, the, in the last couple years. Uh, Nausicaa, Valley of the Wind is uh, one of Miyazaki's works. You know, Castle in the Sky, Spirited Away, those... You know, he created that, and I, th I think it came out in the 70s or 80s. What an amazing movie. So yeah. when that came out, we decided to pick it up in uh, manga form. Big, big hardcover manga form. Yeah, that that's gorgeous. That's a gorgeous addition. Okay, we got Find a Character Sleeping. Is that right? Is that where we're at? Yes, that is right. I was like, I'm going to go ahead and prepare. A relatively easy one. A lot of sleeping in, in mangas. Uh, wife picked this one out. It is Snow White with Red Hair, yeah. number nine. And on this page, we see lots of sleepies. Oh, oh my goodness. I have not read that far in the manga yet. So that is oh, so sorry. Spoilers. Oh, no, it's totally fine. I, so, I have so that volume, but I'm sort of waiting for more volumes to, like, St stack up so I can just like binge read, but that is so exciting. I love. Um, here. I'm sorry I spoiled that they take no. naps. <laughs> <laughs> it was so cute. They're such an adorable couple. They're they're definitely like I guess would be like my one tr one of my one true pairing OTP uh, characters. I went with that wolf boy is mine because this is a really interesting manga. And when they first meet. He is basically like sleeping under a tree and when he wakes up he has wolf ears and so like everything goes pretty crazy for her after like she discovers that hey there's like more to this guy than him just being a normal teenager. <laughs> so it's a two for one. It's uh, going to sleep and waking up with wolf ears. <laughs> Yeah, basic, basically, basically. The next one was find a character eating a book. And I'm really excited about this one. I haven't actually read this manga, but it is a food manga. And that's sweetness and lightning. Because I think basically like the whole manga like stems around like food. And the first time I believe that they meet was her like eating. And she tries to like make him rice at her mother's restaurant, I believe. Because he's a single dad, and it just seemed really sweet. But it has, like, a bunch of food. And there's even food right there on the, yeah, on the spot. Oh, wow. Easy, easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, there's only one manga that has food in it. And you just showed it, so I don't have one. So. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. The, uh, uh, no. Food, <laughs> food, is, food is an easy one. There's so many food things. I picked this one because it's a little different. I picked, so I'm a spider, so what? Oh. And as you can see, there's a spider with a big stake. <laughs> yeah. And uh, see, over here, as on this page, you can see the spider oh. is hungry, and she is eating a big old steak. So, oh, my goodness. 
That was a good one. I would have not expected that. <laughs> tried to try to pick a couple things that are a little different. You know, we could always pick, you know, Luffy or somebody stuff in his face. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. And next up is find a pet in a book. This one I, I had this one picked as soon as I as soon as I seen it. It is from Full Metal Alchemist. Oh, that cover is so cool. Oh yeah, Reza Hot Guy's cool. I but I picked in a colored in a nice picture here is Wenry from oh. Full Metal Alchemist and her dog Den. And as you can see, he's missing an arm. But yeah. don't worry, he's got auto mail. <laughs> So oh. he has a nice robotic type arm for that cute little pupper. Oh, he is really adorable. I don't know if mine's quite as cute. I think he's sort of cute, but it's in Cutie and the Beast. And our wrestler guy here, he has, it's only a small little picture, but he has a little bunny rabbit that he loves really, really Aww. much. <laughs> so I was like, that's sort of cute. And I had like more, I had, I had quite a few different mangas that had animals in them. So it was like really hard narrowing it down to which one like i wanted to actually do i know there's so many animals and pets i i just kind of went with the winery one i thought that would be cool <laughs> i don't know yeah that was a good one for our next one's find a cat in a book and talking about pets i've got yuzu the pet vet so there's like <laughs> yeah. animals in here. there's like i think there's, there's the gotta be a cat in there yeah, there's a cat right here in the cover. There is a cat somewhere in here, but I forgot to say where the cat is. But, like, all, like, look at this dog. I know it's not a cat, but look how cute the pup They're just, like, I got this because this manga just seemed, like, super adorable. And I was just saying, like, all really loud in the store and admiring just how, oh, here's it. See, like, here's a cute little cat. Look at him. Oh, wow. Look at that. I'm <laughs> looking at that face. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. So if you ever need some cuteness, I think Yuzu, and Yuzu the pet vet has it. I also went down a super cute, one of the most wholesome mangas I've ever read in my freaking life. And it's a little bit of cherry picking here. It's kind of easy. A man and his cat. <laughs> oh, I bought that for my friend and she said she cried. Did you cry reading this manga? I, I did uh, have some tears, you know, coming up during the first volume. This is volume number two, I think. Yeah, it's uh, obviously this cat is all through it. It, uh, yeah. my goodness, I just bought it, volume one for me and my wife because I thought it looked cute, and yeah. and now I think we're gonna buy it till it's over. It's <laughs> that is awesome. I need to get it then. I need to get it because I was. You know, when you're friends with somebody and they're like, I don't really cry that often. And I was like, well, I'm going to get you a birthday gift that makes you cry. So <laughs> I felt fairly accomplished when I made her cry. That's such a weird thing to say. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's also, um, in my opinion, a big testament to whatever you're writing. If you can, you know, it's easier to get uh, people to laugh or feel disgust or something like that. But if you can get uh, harder emotions to you'll come out like crying or something like that, then you're obviously writing something, you know, different or, or very good. That's true. That's true. Find a superhero in a book. This one, even though I have not read these, I have watched all of them, all the new crystal editions and everything. Obviously we're going with Sailor V. <laughs> oh, one of the best superheroes. Obviously, she's a Sailor Scout, so you could consider her a superhero in that way. But yeah. before then, she was a superhero named Sailor V with yeah. her cool goggles on. That's <laughs> awesome. I was not as creative. I wish I would have done Sailor Moon. But I <laughs> do one that's pretty cool, My Hair Academia, because I love yes. Dexter. And I was like, there's just like a bunch of superheroes, so... I haven't actually read this one, though, but I think it picks up right where the anime last left off. So I'm so excited for the, the new season. But I feel I, like Sailor Moon almost tops My Hair Academia in this moment. Oh, no, no. I uh, When I was thinking, I was like, well, I can obviously pick something like One Punch Man or My Hair Academia because those are true, you know, superhero fashion things. But uh, yeah. my wife actually said, well, what about Sailor, uh, the Sailor Scouts? They're superheroes kind of and i'm like oh yeah sailor v that'd be a cool one awesome that is so awesome and i guess for our final one is was find a bike in a book and i don't know exactly where it's at but i went with haiku again because you know i rides a 
he rides a bike to Karasuno because that's where his like basically his his idol and his senpai went. So I think like he drives like or drives he rides his bike like a super far distance to go to this school every day. So I had to I had to do Hinata. <laughs> <laughs> bike was probably the second hardest, maybe. I mean, yeah. finding spring if I wasn't gonna pick waiting for spring. Yeah. Uh, Though I know a lot of series has bikes in it. I was going to pick Akira, but then I picked uh, Skippy, Volume 1. And in here, she is on a bike. (laughs) Wow. I have not read this manga. Did your wife enjoy it? Yes. Oh, how many do we got right now? It's in the 40s. Yeah. Uh, It's it's definitely uh, one of the most popular in that type for a reason she she loves it and it's super funny she always is laughing and giggling when she's reading it so awesome i it was recommended to me but i haven't actually picked it up i think because it's just so like long and it's still going like i have no idea when it's supposed to end so i feel like i'm sort of intimidated by that sheer they, size they do have three in ones that can sometimes help yeah that is right that is right I'm so sad. That was our last one. This was so much fun. I loved your choices. They were like so creative. I feel like I sort of like cheated on some of mine. <laughs> well, I I didn't know what you were gonna show up with. So and I and I tried to remember. Well, thanks so much for doing this like collaboration with me. It was super duper awesome, and I love seeing some other like manga that you have in your collection. And just like it's really cool to just to shout out that you like spotlight shoujo manga. So I was really curious to see what you would like share, and I definitely want to check out what was the one that you said that had the bugs. What was the name of that one? The I, I want to oh, say this one, uh, Nausicaa. Yes, you're the second person I've seen recommend that, and I'm gonna have to go check it out because it looks really cool. And the bugs were not nearly as creepy as I thought they would be because for whatever reason I just visualized like really creepy bugs, and it's probably because I borrowed Queen's Quality from the library. And that had some creepy bugs. I returned it because I was not ready for that kind of creepy. So, <laughs> All right. This was awesome. Never did a scavenger hunt with manga before. It was super fun. I had a blast with my friend, Laura A. Grace. If you do not know her and you're watching from the Manga Sloth channel, go check her out. Link is in the description. Subscribe and like her videos too. She is amazing and an amazing person. And I will see you all next time. Yeah, and definitely, guys, check out the manga slot. Like, he is so much fun, and I really enjoy his videos. So definitely like, comment, and subscribe to him, too. He has epic giveaways, guys. I am determined to win one of these giveaways, just to, like, throw it out there. So let's all compete for his giveaways, because they're super-duper cool. Hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye! Bye!